Hi, this is Dan Gary coming to you again with another Yellowstone Fly Goods Fly. We're going to be tying Bubba's Fat Ant. And looking at it, you think that nothing is ever going to eat this, but they do. And it works just about anywhere. It's a big, dry ant, foam ant. So we're tying with a, uh, not that you can find them anymore, but a di Dyricky hook. It's the streamer hook. What is that? The streamer hook 300 or something like that. Anyway, yeah, it's it's a 4x long streamer hook. Can't get direct anymore, so I'm hoarding them. Uh, red A plus thread. You'll need two either grizzly hackles or brown hackle. Either one of them works great and more lateral scale, large size, and eighth inch foam. And you cut it into about a three eighths inch wide strip. And you can get tie these in all black, all red, red and black. We're just tying on red today. So, get a layer of thread in. All the way to the bend. Advance your thread just a little bit, and you want to cut a point into the foam. This keeps the, the, a buildup from occurring because this foam is thick, and you want it to roll over. It's not going to look pretty on the bottom. Bring it back a little bit more. Okay, advance your thread just, just ahead of the hook point. Make your first segment. One thing with this with this foam, you can't you can't honk down on it too tight, or you're going to cut it with this A plus. But you also want to put wraps ahead to lock it in, and that'll keep from twisting on you. Okay, tie in our first tackle. It's just a regular uh, hackle off of a neck. You can use some of your larger hackle that you don't normally use on these flies. Tie it in. Notice that I did cut a little off the bottom side of this fly because uh, you want to tie the concave back on this and this just allows the fly the hackle to follow and not bind on itself and you can bring that stem then up a little bit lock it in and back down and just clip her off advance the thread dear no leave the thread now we're gonna Wrap the hackle. These are just big ants and they float like a cork. Now advance the thread. 
make your next section. So now we want to tie in our wings. And these wings are upright. And they kind of make their make their own place. You're going to do this times two. Notice how they just kind of flow back a little bit. Lock it in again. That a clip. Do it again and see it'll the, the wings will kind of marry up a little bit. doesn't need to be perfect because you want the light to be reflecting off this mylar and it looks like a little beacon on top of the water. I've even caught fish stripping this thing in. Tying your next tackle. Wrap your hackle. Get about three turns on it. Clip your hackle tip off. Bench your thread. Make your last bump. Clip your tag off. Make your ant head. It doesn't have to be perfect. Pick some of that stuff out of there and clean it up. Now you can kind of reposition your Wings a little bit, even them up. And that's Bubba's fat ant. Okay, so um, you this fly will suspend a dropper. Uh, it uh, uh, is fished just like a dry fly. Uh, dead drifted, uh, fish it along weed beds, uh, shallow runs, tails. Uh, if I, I'll usually carry red, all red, all black, and a bl black butt with red segments, and they'll eat one or the other. Uh, if you have any carpenter at, at hatches, they'll eat it, and that's how you can. This, these, this lateral scale wings show up just like a floodlight at night when the light hits it. And it, it, you can actually, I mean, they're so big anyway, there's no use trying to 
search for it because it just blinks right right in your face.